At last year's September event, Apple released the Apple TV 4K, supporting the latest streaming technologies such as 4K at up to 60 frames per second, Dolby Vision, and HDR10. Apple then started to rent and sell movies in 4K and HDR. They even upgraded your previous purchase library to 4K HDR versions if they were available. I've owned the Apple TV 4K since its launch and have enjoyed streaming movies from it for my home theater system, but there's only been one thing that has been missing, and that's Dolby Atmos surround sound. Atmos allows sound engineers to place sound objects in 3D space, making you feel like you're part of the action. Atmos supports an extra set of speakers above the viewers to help make this happen. Because of the lack of Atmos, I constantly switched back and forth between the Apple TV 4K and my Xbox X, which does support Atmos. I can't imagine that I'm the only one that would do this, so Apple could definitely be losing out on movie and Apple TV 4K sales. Apple did say that Atmos support will come for the Apple TV 4K in the future, and now that WWDC 2018 has come and gone, we know that Atmos support will finally be coming to the Apple TV 4K this September with the release of tvOS 12. I just finished installing the first developer beta of tvOS 12, so I figured we'd come here to my house to use my home theater system which supports Atmos and see if we can get it working correctly. So I'm here in the settings of the Apple TV 4K and as you can see we have tvOS 12 installed. I'm going to go down to the audio settings here and unfortunately uh, we don't really get much information about the audio. If we go to the audio output here it just shows one output from the Apple TV 4K and surround sound just sets is set to auto and it says that it'll give you the best quality available and unfortunately uh, itunes does not yet support uh, atmos none of the videos have been updated for that so we're going to head over to netflix and we're going to try out the punisher which we know has atmos support with our xbox uh, x and the atmos sounds really good with that so i have the punisher right here we can open it up and unfortunately, it's just saying 5.1 surround sound here. Uh, it does support Dolby Vision, which not everything does support that, but Apple TV 4K does. But we are not seeing that. So we did double check that all the apps were updated. And let's turn it on and see if by any chance we'll get anything from our Atmos speakers up here. That's a little bit gory there. Unfortunately, I'm not hearing anything from the Atmos speakers. Uh, the sound does sound great. I'm hearing the rear speakers, the front speakers, the subwoofer, the center channel, but we are not getting anything from here. So we may have to wait until uh, Apple updates and releases the final version, and then possibly we might have to wait for different apps to start updating it and supporting Atmos as well. But let's go ahead and turn on our Xbox One X, because I just want to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse of what kind of sounds we hear from uh, the Atmos speakers and what you can expect when all of this is finally working and it's out of beta. So here we are with the Xbox One and as you could see with the Punisher in Netflix we see this little Atmos little logo meaning it does support the extra speakers that give sound from above you but unfortunately here we no longer see Dolby Vision we only see HDR which means it's using HDR10 because the Xbox One X and the One S they don't support Dolby Vision so the Apple TV 4K is going to be able to use the more advanced HDR which supports up to 12 bits of color and up to 10,000 nits of brightness that's extremely bright whereas HDR10 will support 4,000 nits and only 10 bits of color. So let's go ahead and start playing this. I'm going to use my Zoom H6 recorder. I'm going to get close to the Atmos speaker so you guys can hear what kind of sounds those output and hopefully they'll give you a little bit of an idea of what you can expect. So this is probably really hard to show off over a video online where you don't have the spatial awareness but I've been using this surround sound system for about a year now and Atmos definitely adds another layer of depth. So just listening right now, I'm hearing like breathing from above here when we have the first person view in the film. And I'm also hearing sounds from behind, from the front, and now from above. And it definitely does improve the experience. So we're just getting some cawing from uh, some crows. And it's interesting because I didn't hear that from the rear speakers or from the front. I heard it from the Atmos speakers, just like if you were actually in the woods in the scene and you're hearing the crows above you. 
Since it's so hard to actually convey the experience over video, over the internet, and depending on what kind of headphones you wear, it can really make a big difference. I'll kind of just give you guys a brief explanation. Uh, for one scene here where you guys heard the crows from the Atmos speakers, there the crows weren't heard anywhere else. You heard kind of music from the sides, maybe um, some voices from the front, and then the crows sound right above you, just like they are in the scene. But then in another shot, where we had um, a stabbing going on, since that sound was coming from the center and kind of from above, we heard that going from the Atmos speakers and from the center channel. On the sides, we had like some background music going on and same thing with the back. And that also goes along, let's say, with some shooting scenes. If you're watching it on the screen and it's from in front, you'll hear it from above you and the front, just like you probably would in real life. And then if there's somebody behind, you'll hear the sound from above you and from behind. So it's very clever how they are mapping all the sound and it really adds to the experience. So I'm definitely excited that Apple is adding Atmos to the Apple TV 4K. And they also announced that uh, all your videos are going to be automatically upgraded to support Atmos for free if the film supports it elsewhere. So now that Apple is finally adding Atmos to the Apple TV 4K, this is going to make it a really well-rounded streaming device and one that's going to attract more enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.